Lee with simplysimplestamping.com. I'm so glad that you could stop by because it's flashcard time. I love to create flashcards and I've just been playing around with a new product called Brusho Color. Guys, these little watercolor crystals are phenomenal and talk about bold and bright. It's really easier to work with than you think and I am excited to share with you how to create just one technique using Brusho with today's flashcard. So let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the cardstock you're going to need to create today's flashcard. Hey, I decided to do something different. I'm gonna be using our note cards and envelopes. I love these, you get 20 in a package and it comes with the envelope, so I'm all ready to go. So we're gonna use one of those. My flashcard pieces today, Melon Mambo. This is cut four and a quarter by two and three quarters. My layering piece is shimmery white. That's going to be important. The shimmery white cardstock is cut two and a half inches by four inches. And then I'm also going to top it off with this gorgeous black shimmer ribbon. I have about 14 inches of that. Now, we are using um, the brush show today. This is the star of the show today. We're going to use the brush show color. Let's bring in the gamboge. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how we're gonna say it. And the brilliant red. And that's going to blend really nicely with the melon mambo. So let's get started. When it comes to working with brush show, we're gonna be working with water. So you're gonna to wanna to kind of protect your work surface. I've just got a couple layers of paper towel here and that's gonna be fine. Uh, what I wanna do for this technique is I'm going to bring in a clear block. I've got clear block E, but you could use the bigger ones as well. I'm also going to be using one of our Stampin' Spritzers. I've just got this filled with water, but I love the fine mist that the spritzer is gonna give. I'm gonna spritz this with some water here. I'm going to start with the gamboge and you know what, I'm just gonna tap. That's kind of my more orangey yellow kind of color and then right next to it, we'll put some red. Now that's not looking too good, right? Let's come in with an aqua painter. You wanna start with your lightest color and we're just gonna kind of smear that around. Now we can come in and start blending that red isn't that so pretty? And it's gonna give us just a really nice, we can kind of come in here, blend these two colors together. You can see, we can clean that off. Now, I have got that shimmery white cardstock. We're gonna press that onto the block. We're gonna give this a nice little back rub. Give it a little, look at that. Now this one, I actually spritzed a lot more water, so my image is coming out quite a bit bigger, filling up the, the area there. Do you see this right here? Watch this. I'm just gonna blend that in. Isn't that gorgeous? Talk about vibrant. That is the one thing you're gonna love about Brusho is great vibrant colors. We want to set this aside to dry. While you're waiting for that to dry, we can simply take that paper towel and clean off our block. We can also come in and clean up that aqua painter. I can just squeeze some water through the barrel until that runs clean. All right, we have that piece dry, and I wanted to take a minute to tell you why I said it was important that we're using shimmery white cardstock. Standard Stampin' Up! cardstock is not going to hold up to all that water because we spritz that pretty heavy. Shimmery white and our watercolor paper are the papers you're going to want to work with when it comes to brush show. But listen, I've got that dry now. Let's come in with a basic black ink pad. I'm going to use the All Things Thanks stamp set. I love this thanks for everything. It was so big and bold. Let's ink that up in our basic black ink. We're going to stamp that right here on the center. I love how black ink just pops right off of those vibrant colors. It's really fabulous. You notice there's some curl to my cardstock. Yep. So we're going to want to go heavy with the snail and we're going to want to go around all four corners so we can get this, or all four sides, I should say, because we want this to adhere down really well. I'm going to go ahead and give a strip right there in the middle. Let's adhere this onto, whoops, I got a little dimensional backing there. Hmm, just a little extra visitor today. All right, we will adhere this onto the Melon Mambo. I'm going to take that black shimmer ribbon. Let's just tie it in a knot here on the side. And when I say on the side, I mean on the side. We're going I've added six Stampin' Dimensionals to the back of my focal image. And now we can just center that up. And guys, look at that. Look, I've got the envelope. We're all ready to go. Now I will tell you, I did attempt to put some brush show on the envelope. Boop, 
fail. Uh, the, the paper is just too thin, again, for all that water. But what I love about this focal image is every time I create this card, it's always going to look different. It's, I love these, and I really do love the fact that no card will ever be the same. They're always going to be different. And of course, with those five colors, you're going to have a lot of opportunities to mix and match colors to create new colors. Way fun, you guys. Now listen, if you want more information on today's cards, head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Look for the April 18th, 2018 blog post. I'm going to have everything there so you can grab those measurements, see photos, uh, pick up a few other little tips that I might have there for you on the blog post on April 18th. So be sure to check it out at simplysimplestamping.com. Thank you guys so much for being a part of my video today. I hope that you enjoyed the cards and that you're gonna give that brush a try. Guys, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for everything. We'll see you soon, bye-bye.